Okay, I'm not sure what's happening, but it keeps cutting off and on. I erased some extra videos to make sure I had some more memory on the phone. So I did that. So this may be in small chunks, I hope not. Okay. I have the washroom. Light. Back up a little bit. I only have a wash machine. There is room for a washer and dryer both. Let's go into the, there's a loft, but we'll do that all in a second. So from the front door, here's the bedroom where we've been. The puppies. There's a loft. Fan's already going. Let's uh, turn the light on. And off. PC system. Like that. Oh, there's a light right there. Let's turn that light on. That works. Bulbs out of this. And there's the thing room. We do spin around. the master bedroom. So we'll go in here next. Fan, light. So we'll do got the French doors to the backyard. Turn the light back on. It's kind of dark. Corners. Ceiling. Looking towards the living room. The master bathroom. Light fixtures. Hot. Cold. I still have some more personal stuff, but no leaks. Set in its own little area. Sinks. It's kind of hard to get the whole wall in here. The skylight. The his closet. Brand new carpet throughout the whole house. Nice and slow. Inside the closet. Okay. 
I always say this is the hers. Let me get this light on. Light on. Much bigger, much deeper. Brand new carpet. bedroom turn that off dining room lights hope that turned on that one in there that one turned on that one in there Nope, that's there it is. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> we have the sliding glass doors. We'll go back out in the backyard in a minute. Back up. front room okay and I got the kitchen there over here so so all the switches over here a little breakfast nook area and back up the kitchen has been modernized and updated okay this is the cupboard We do have an ADT alarm system. This leads out to the garage, but we'll do that in one second. Back up over here as far as I can. Their stuff still uh, like I said they're moving out so got uh, wood over there for the windows for hurricane season built-in desk shelves the garage is a little more needs a little more tape and flow we got an addict right there garage door was replaced 
Um, when was the garage replaced? About two years ago, right before the renters moved in. We do have, uh, we went to the poly pipe system and uh, removed all the copper so there is no copper or any other plumbing. It's all poly pipe plumbing, brand new. Feeding the whole house hot and cold. And then we do have brand new water heater. Water heater is two years old. Uh, as soon as they're out, I can get a better view of that. Let's come all the way out. Does need a little tape and float and paint in the garage. Especially right there and up there. But that was, of course, before the uh, roof was replaced. So I had a little bit of water damage in a couple of spots. But those are the last couple places that need to be fixed. Okay, we already did the outside. So that's all good. I don't know if you all want to see attics or not, but I can't unfortunately get into that one right now. We do have one inside the house too. Uh, let me see here. And then where is the, where's the switch for the other light? Oh, I think it's right here. Let's see. Have to check that and see why that switch isn't working. That light isn't working. Okay. Okay, heading upstairs. That light did switch on finally. So we come over here to the stairs. We already did the chandeliers, but we can do those again. Okay, up there in the loft. And the windows, I didn't do the windows from the inside either. Shelving unit. And it's a brand new carpet upstairs. And this is the loft area the renters are using as a bedroom for one of their children. See here. Oh, it's probably right here. Yep, there it is. See, so do back up over here to this wall. Y'all are fine. Y'all can make some noise. <laughs> over here, the railing. They got some laundry day going, so the railing goes down. And we have another full bathroom up here. There's another light switch. Just kick that one on. So another full bath up here. There we go. So a couple of bulbs out. Hot. Cold. Good. That's a pantry. And of course the drop for the laundry. Toilet. Showers on again, so we'll just be careful. Yep. Window up here. Get back this way again. Okay. Okay. And 
one bedroom. Just a light fixture in here. Brand new carpet. Looks like one of the doors is off the hinges. I'll have to get that put back on, but. Let's move it out of the way for a second. Oh, another attic right there. Back up as far as I can without getting on her stuff. There we go. Okay. I get upstairs bedroom this one actually have to pull the corners of the room I think down Okay, my first video got cut short, so I'm gonna do the other bathroom real quick. So it's all in one video. I did this room over here, but unfortunately the video was stopped during. I can send you both chunks of it. Just to make sure you get plenty of views of it. Built ins. Everything's got fresh paint jobs. Just do bathroom over here, but once again, I'll include it all in one video. So, fixtures, got a little crack right there, get that fixed. Oh, we get the sink, it's hot. Cold. the washroom.
backyard. Let's go this side first. Like I said, we haven't got the uh, second story painted yet, so still waiting on the paint to be finished, but it's already been paid for, so the front front uh, view is the best view. Let's see a 360 spin. There's the <clears throat> gas and electricity coming in. I guess the fence is good too. We'll do from over there. We also do have a hookup out here where the natural gas comes in, where you can hook up a uh, fire pit to natural gas. So that way you can have your barbecue pit set up right here with natural gas as an option. There's the uh, other side of the gate. I we made a video, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and try and keep it all in the same video this time. Okay, back from this view, grass is a little bit grown, but no big deal. Like I said, brand new roof. That's the uh, French doors to the master bedroom. And then we'll walk through here. Like I said, I made a first video, or first two videos and it just cut off for some reason. But I made a side yard that uh, you can park your... Uh, Got a tree branch in the way. There we go. So this is a separate side yard for parking an RV or a boat, or I guess a dog run, or um, I got a set up where electricity and water can come back here too. And again, of course, we just saw the gate. And then we need pictures. I'm gonna take pictures of the uh, AC unit. The first video I told y'all this was replaced five years ago. The uh, inside and the attic unit, attic unit was, uh, the motor was replaced two years ago and the coil was cleaned two years ago. I got double slinging doors for the RV or the boat to get back here with ease. Back up and get a better view of that. Uh, yeah, the fan was replaced two years ago and the coil was cleaned two years ago, but I would still probably replace the coil in the next year or two. Got the uh, paint right there, finish painting. Like I said, brand new roof. I think the windstorm certificate was just two weeks ago. We got double swinging doors, so this one swings open too. Let's back up. Kind of going backwards, because like I said, I have a video that was started all professional from the front yard that uh, had all of this. I may try and add it on, but if not, I'm gonna try and make it all one video now. So here's from the neighbor's house. Walk down the sidewalk. Grass is a little bit dead from the freeze we had this winter and they haven't been big waterers, but we'll, uh, we can do some sod or anything like that. Like I said, you can tell the difference right here, hopefully, between the front being painted and the side not being painted. Let's see if I can get in the shade here. So, there you go. So, yep. Like I said in the first video, I'm making this video for open door for my property at 6605 Bent Trail Drive, Corpus Christi, Texas. 78413. Today is Monday, July 26th. And when I started, it was about 445. So, okay, there we go.